Hey there, Peter Hawker, Product Manager at PDFtron here. We have many great new features coming as part of our Fall 2022 release, and I'm here to talk about one of the ones I'm most excited about, WebViewer BIM. Our WebViewer platform has supported PDF drawings, Microsoft Office files, 2D CAD, images, and much more for a while now. And with the launch of WebViewer BIM, we're adding support for information-rich 3D BIM models, all wrapped in the same developer framework. Let's take a look. When we were building WebViewer BIM, one of our main goals was to provide an intuitive and consistent experience across both our 2D and 3D products so we could provide the best experience for our users. However, 3D models need different navigation tools than 2D drawings. In WebViewer BIM, you'll find a new orbit tool to complement the existing pan and zoom tools you may be familiar with. You can use these tools to navigate on the canvas as well as select elements from the model tree. Elements can also be turned on and off, so you can get to the view that you need faster. Not only that, but the model's metadata is preserved and it can be accessed from a properties panel. This allows you to get information such as dimensions or even materials. We've also included a first-person navigation mode, so you can navigate even more smoothly once you're inside the model. After navigation, our next priority was bringing the world-class markup support from our 2D product to WebViewer BIM. Handling 2D annotations in 3D space is a complex problem. And to help manage this, we've introduced the concept of a parent object that we call issues. An issue in WebViewer is a way to track and share a view with others for discussion and collaboration. Let me create one now. Each issue supports a title, associated screenshot, and tracks key view information such as the zoom level, the camera orientation, and so on. Users can then mark up or add comments just like they would in WebViewer, leveraging WebViewer's extensive markup and commenting tools. And just like other markups in WebViewer, you can add approval statuses to track the issue progress across the project lifecycle. WebViewer BIM is launching with support for the industry standard and open IFC format. We're looking to add support for additional formats post-launch and or exploring both Revit and Navisworks later this fall. I really hope you enjoyed this introduction to WebViewer BIM and all the features and functionality that we saw today. Take a look at the other great videos we've published alongside our fall 2022 launch linked in the description below, and please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions.